see the next problem on Fourier transforms find the Fourier transform of the function f of x which is defined by 1 minus x square if mod x is less than or equal to 1 and 0 if mod x is greater than 1 after that we have to derive the value of this definite integral which is integral 0 to infinity sin x minus x cos x by x cube into dx okay see so first of all we have to write the conditions in another way okay we have to change the conditions in another way see given that f of x is equal to 1 minus x square already you know that what is the mod x is less than or equal to 1 x value should lies between minus 1 and plus 1 if minus 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to plus 1 and 0 if what is the another condition mod x is greater than 1 means x value should lies be, should lies below of the minus 1 and above the plus 1 so x is less than minus 1 and x is greater than plus 1 this is the meaning of mod x is greater than 1 okay so according to the definition of Fourier transform you have Fourier transform of f of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power i lambda x into f of x dx don't forget this formula okay e power i lambda x into f of x dx within the limits minus infinity to plus infinity but our function is based on minus 1 plus 1 so once you look at the real number system line so this is minus infinity to plus infinity okay in between them exactly in the middle you have 0 right side you have positive values so i will take this is plus 1 in the left side you have minus 1 so if x value should lie uh, less than minus 1 if x value less than minus 1 then function is 0 if x value is greater than positive 1 again function is 0 so in between minus 1 and plus 1 function is 1 minus x square okay so i will split the integration limits now as minus infinity to minus 1 minus infinity to minus 1 plus minus 1 to plus 1 plus 1 to infinity okay so e power i lambda x into f of x into dx plus integral minus 1 to plus 1 e power i lambda x because our function is 1 minus x square between minus 1 and plus 1 in the remaining all regions function is 0 okay plus integral 1 to infinity e power i lambda x into f of x dx so this would be 0 because x value is less than minus 1 last part is also 0 because x value goes to greater values of 1 that's why last one is 0 plus integral minus 1 to plus 1 e power i lambda x into what is f of x between minus 1 and plus 1 1 minus x square into dx plus 0 so it is enough to simplify this integration by using the eyelet your integration bypass formula first of all by using eyelet rule this is algebraic term and this is exponential term so in the order of eyelet rule this is the first function and this is the second function see so open a bracket so u is the same term 1 minus x square into integration of v e power i lambda x by i lambda minus derivative of the first term is minus 2x don't write minus of minus plus here and uh, integration of this part which is e power i lambda x by i lambda whole square because already i, I lambda is there so i square lambda square okay plus alternately we will get positive negative positive and derivative of minus 2x is minus 2 into e power i lambda x by i cube lambda cube okay because already i square lambda square is there and next term is zero so within the limits minus infinity to sorry minus one to plus one okay now apply the limits carefully whenever we have x replace it by the upper limit one 
So first term is 1 minus 1 square. It would be 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 into anything is 0. Minus into minus plus. 2 into 1. 2. e power i lambda by i square lambda square. Don't write i square is equal to minus 1 now. At the climax of this step, I will write i square as minus 1 and i cube as minus i. Okay. Now what is the next term? Plus into minus. Minus 2 into e power i lambda because x is upper limit 1 by i cube lambda cube minus apply the lower limit whenever we have x replaced by minus 1. So 1 minus 1 again you will get you will get 0. 0 into anything 0 minus into minus plus minus 2 into x is minus 1. So again you will get minus into minus plus. There are 4 negative signs in the product that is why you will get positive sign here. 2 into e power minus i lambda by i square lambda square. So, before applying the lower limit, you should write negative sign, but already here we have minus 2. So, minus of minus plus 2 again. e power x is negative 1. So, minus i lambda by i cube lambda cube. Okay. So, see now. Here, we have in the denominator i square and lambda square. In the third term, in the 2, 3, 4, in this term, you get again i square lambda square. So, 2 by i square lambda square is the common term of this term and this term. So, you will get e power i lambda and uh, plus e power minus i lambda. Okay. What about the remaining terms? You can take minus 2 by i cube lambda cube as the common term. Okay. So, you will get here e power i lambda. Here you will get minus e power minus i lambda. Okay. See here. Now replace i square is equal to minus 1. Already you know that my square is equal to minus 1. So minus 2 by lambda square into what about e power i lambda plus e power minus i lambda according to Euler's theorem on the complex numbers. It is 2 cos lambda. Again, what is i cube? Minus i. So, minus of minus plus 2 by i lambda cube. Once again, by using Euler's theorem on complex number, it is 2i sin lambda. Okay. See here, 2 to the 4 minus 4 cos lambda by lambda square and i i getting cancelled. 2 into 2, 4 sin lambda by lambda cube. Okay. Take the LCM. What is the LCM here? Lambda cube. So you will get 4 sin lambda first. 4 is the common term. Sin lambda minus lambda cos lambda. This is the Fourier transform of the given function. You can put the name as a bar of lambda. Okay. So it is enough to find out the derivation of this integration. See. Already you know that any derivation in the concept of Fourier transform can be obtained from inverse Fourier transform. By writing the formula of inverse Fourier transform now, I will derive this one. See. See the derivation. So, by definition of inverse Fourier transform, the formula for inverse Fourier transform of this function is f of x. Okay. Is equal to 1 by 2 pi into integral minus infinity to plus infinity a bar of lambda you should write a bar of lambda value here into e power minus i lambda x into d lambda don't forget it okay you will get the integration with respect to lambda here so replace these all values f of x is equal to 1 by 2 pi into integral minus infinity to plus infinity what is f bar of lambda? 4 times of sin lambda minus lambda into cos lambda whole by lambda cube into e power minus i lambda x into d lambda. Just I am replacing the value of f bar of lambda. Okay. So in this one I am replacing x is equal to 0. Okay. For required derivation I am replacing x is equal to 0. So you will get f of 0. So, here 1, 2 getting cancelled here. So, you will get 2 by pi in the outside. 
take this 2 to outside 2 by pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity sin lambda minus lambda cos lambda whole by lambda cube into e power 0 because here we have e power minus sin lambda x and in the place of x I am replacing x is equal to 0. So it would be d lambda. But what is f of 0 value? f of 0 is in general what is f of x if x value is lies between minus 1 and plus 1 here 0 is there 0 is lies between minus 1 and plus 1 so it would be 1 minus x square but x is 0 so you will get 1 f of 0 is 1 that is equal to 2 by pi now we are observing that sin lambda minus lambda cos lambda is odd function and lambda cube is also odd function so what is the division of odd and odd even function so there is even function inside the integration whose limits are in the form of minus infinity to plus infinity that's why i will write this one as 2 into integral 0 to infinity sin lambda minus lambda into cos lambda by lambda cube d lambda so from this what is this integration value integral 0 to infinity sin lambda minus lambda into cos lambda whole by lambda cube is it into d lambda is equal to 2 to 4 4 by pi and this 4 by pi transforms to left hand side then it it will be in the form of pi by 4 okay this is the required derivation so maybe given a required derivation is in terms of x so you can replace lambda is equal to x you will get exact derivation okay thank you very much in the next video i will give some more problems on fourier transforms